If you want to become a pro in Call of Duty Mobile, you need to use the right tricks. Now, I've been playing this game since day one, and after playing hours and hours of COD Mobile, I made a list of 10 tricks that will make you a pro. So let's get started. The first trick is to take it easy in the start of a match. As soon as the match begins, a lot of people goes directly into the enemy spawn in hopes of getting more kills. But doing this is a really bad idea because when you go to the enemy spawn, you're gonna get outnumbered by the enemies and you will die. Rushing into the enemy spawn has many downsides including lack of team support, unexpected amount of enemies and panicking. This is why you should always avoid rushing directly into their spawn. Instead, what you should do in the start of a match is switch to your knife and then use a stem shot to increase your speed even more and wait behind a cover for the enemies to come. This strategy works because you're gonna be the first one to spot your enemies because of the stem shot and your knife and spotting your enemies first means you have a higher chance of getting the kill. Being the first one to spot your enemies will also give you a huge advantage in search and destroy. Check out this clip of Mihawk from the 2022 championship. Then, oh, King doesn't see him. Doesn't spot him. A possibility for a 1v2 and he clutches it up. As you can see, being the first one to spot your enemies is extremely powerful, so don't go into the enemy spawn and try to spot your enemies from behind a cover. Our next trick is to work on your passive aim. Aiming in Call of Duty Mobile can be divided into two categories. There's passive aim and active aim, and both are extremely important. Now, active aim is what most people think about when they hear the word aim. It's basically tracking your target and controlling the recoil as you're firing your gun. On the other hand, passive aim is your crosshair placement when you're not in a gunfight and you're running around the map. The goal of passive aim is to anticipate where your enemy will be, so as soon as you see an enemy, you have to move your crosshair as little as possible to start hitting your shots. Sometimes passive aim is called centering or crosshair placement, but it's basically the same thing. Working on your passive aim is extremely important because Call of Duty Mobile is a game that has a very fast time to kill, meaning the person who hits the first shot usually gets the kill. So even though active aim is important, it's not as reliable as having your crosshair in the right place to begin with. One way to work on your passive aim is to memorize the layout of the map that you're playing in. For example, when I walk into this building, I know there's a staircase on the left and a hallway on the right. So when I approach this building, I can aim where I believe the enemy is gonna come from. There's also other ways you can train your passive aim, like doing drills on the training mode. However you train your passive aim, if you manage to master it, then you'll become a way better player. Repositioning is also another powerful trick you can use. Now, repositioning means changing your location after getting each kill. Basically, every time you get a kill, you move to a different spot in the map so your enemies don't know where you are. Now, obviously, you don't have to go all the way across the map after getting a kill because that is not what repositioning means. Basically, you stay in one location, for example, this building and firing range and you move from cover to cover and try to control the area in this case we're talking about the building now when you're moving from cover to cover you'll know what's happening on every side of the map because you're keeping an eye on different spots this is gonna allow you to get more kills and it's one of the best strategies to get a nuke on the other hand if you stand still after killing someone that guy is gonna know exactly where you are and while you're waiting for the next enemy to come he's gonna go behind you and kill you before you even know it this happens because when you're standing still your line of sight is limited to where you're looking so you can't tell what's happening in your surroundings this is why repositioning is a really powerful trick because it allows you to control the flow of your enemies and gives you a better idea of what's happening in the map. Playing with three types of weapon is another thing that will make you a better player. Now 99% of the players always use the meta until it gets nerfed and replaced by another weapon. It doesn't matter if it's an SMG, LMG or an AR, if people see it's the meta then they are going to use it. But this is kind of a bad idea because when the meta gets nerfed you are going to have a really hard time switching to another weapon. Especially if the weapon that you're switching to belongs to another category then it's going to be really hard to switch. This is why you should always have the habit of using three types of weapon when you're playing, meaning you should switch between close, medium, and long range weapons from map to map. Doing this will allow you to learn the mechanics of ARs, snipers, and SMGs at the same time. And it's going to make you a versatile player who can play in all types of maps from big to small. So avoid being too dependent on the meta and focus on improving your gun skills. Now let's talk about a very important trick in COD Mobile, which is trigger discipline. Trigger discipline means making sure you're aiming at the enemy before firing your gun. So first you make sure your aim is at the enemy and only then you start shooting. That is called trigger discipline. Now on the other hand, if you start shooting as soon as you see an enemy, then you're gonna run out of ammo, meaning you have to reload in a 2v1 situation, which is probably gonna kill you. This is why trigger discipline is a very important trick because it lets you save ammo and you get to hit more of your shots. Basically, trigger discipline gives you a better accuracy, a better recoil control, and it lets you save ammo in 2v1 situations. So if you wanna win more gunfights in COD Mobile, then make sure to use this trick. Our next trick is to use head glitches. Now this right here is called a head glitch. It's when you hide behind something in a way that only your head can be seen. Now when you're using a head glitch, the enemy will have a hard time spotting you because to them, you are basically invisible. This is gonna allow you to worry less about getting shot and focus more on your aim. Now in game modes like Hardpoint, it's really hard to defend your flag because multiple enemies come from all directions. But by using head glitches, you can easily defend your flag without having the risk of getting outnumbered. Head glitches are also important in search and destroy because it allows you to get information about the enemies without being spotted. So make sure to use head glitches the next time you're playing the game. The next trick is gonna help you get more kills and it is to pre-aim on popular spots. 
Now when you try to control an area or defend a flag, most of the time you get ambushed by the enemies and you end up losing control. This is why pre-aiming is a very essential trick in COD Mobile. When you're pre-aiming, your crosshair is already pointed at where the enemy could be, so your aim will be more precise and there's a 90% chance you're gonna get the kill. And also when pre-aiming, you subconsciously place yourself in a safe location, for example behind an object. So that is another reason why pre-aiming is useful. Basically pre-aiming and repositioning that we mentioned earlier goes hand in hand, so make sure to combine these two tricks when playing. Moving on to trick number 8, we have drop shotting. Drop shotting lets you add an element of surprise to your enemy because they're not gonna expect you to drop down into the floor. Now when you suddenly drop shot, you're gonna throw off the aim of your enemy, so they have to readjust their aim but before they have the chance to do that, they're gonna die. Drop shotting also makes you a smaller target, so even if they manage to fix their aim, it'll kinda be hard to hit you. But obviously don't overuse drop shotting because that is not ideal. Trick number 9 is to use headphones. I've said this before and I'm still gonna say this, headphones are gonna make you a way better player. By using headphones, you can hear your enemies more clearly, allowing you to know their positions. Besides, headphones lets you isolate background noises like your mom screaming or if you're playing on a train, you can't find a single professional player who doesn't use a headphone. Obviously, you don't have to use the best headphones in the world, but using any headphones is far better than the speakers of your device. Finally, number 10 is to practice different movements. Movement is one of the most important aspects of getting better at COD Mobile. Using movements like bunny hopping and jiggle peeking is extremely important if you want to get better. I've made an entire video on movement, so if you want to check out that video, then here it is. And also, we're extremely close to 100,000 subscribers on this channel, so if you enjoy the videos I make, then consider subscribing. Let's try to hit 100,000 subscribers in just a few weeks. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Peace out.